Hello and welcome to another Hazmat Labs video. Today I'm going to show you how to make a different type of hot ice using alum powder. As you've seen in my video of making fake ice. So what you need is just uh, a blob of vinegar here and then fill about close to half of it with the alum powder. Or just so I'll sprinkle out a bit. So fill it so about uh, maybe a bit more. So maybe actually fill it so there's a bit over over half of the vinegar is alum. What I'm going to do is we're just gonna heat it up. Now when you do this, don't do the scissors trick that I'm doing because if it all of a sudden comes off this uh, plate nicely goes flying and lands wherever it wants to. Okay, and lighter, lighter. Should begin to boil soon. Oh yes, it's starting to boil. So you want to get this till it's uh, boiled down, probably halfway or a bit more, and make sure you get it so it's this big bubbling stage. And you want to get it that you dissolve all the alum. It does not take nearly as long as it does to make fake ice. Okay, so we're going to stop right there. It starts to get lower. There should be a film forming on the top of the liquid. So then you just uh, put it down and kind of just want to let it cool for just a little bit. Now what you do is you take a piece that probably broke off from my making fake ice video and you break the layer and you just kind of touch it a bit and this is a lot slower but it will do the same action as hot ice as you can see it's just moving very slowly so you can do it in multiple areas to get it going faster so it's very slowly expanding but it still works Probably if I were to boil it down a bit more, it probably would work faster, but it still works in a very similar fashion. Okay, so now say you've done this and you've boiled it too far and it's all hard. What you're going to have to do is just add some more vinegar. Don't put too much on, though, like I did, and just reboil it. Now remember when always uh, take caution when working with flame and boiling liquids. Also some vinegar fumes might arise if you boil it quite a bit. Okay, so we'll leave it about there. It's got to note that these vinegar fumes are mildly irritating. Alright, so it seems to be cool enough. So now we take our piece of alum fake ice and touch the mixture. See I got some excess vinegar. But you can see this is starting to grow once again and expand like the hot ice. It's very slowly spreading. And there you have it, making a different type of hot ice with alum powder. Thanks for watching, and please tune in to my future videos and the other videos I have on.